What's up, Unique Babes? It's my Unique. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, and I am back with another video. For today's video, you see by the title, I'm going to be doing how to tell your friends is fake, like a little girl talk for y'all. I'm going to give y'all this little disclaimer. I'm not telling y'all to stop being friends with that person as I'm giving y'all the tips. But if you're watching this video and these signs remind you of one person, you should already know. It's time to end the friendship. So keep that in mind, please. So make sure y'all watch the whole video. Let's get started. Period. The first sign is they're unsupportive. So let's say that you're talking, let's say you just started a business, whether it's um, your own lip gloss collection, your YouTube channel or whatever, something good that happened to you. Then um, when you tell them, they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, that's fake. They don't really care. Like, you know, they're not really as excited as you are. They should be excited as you are like 10 times more excited. If they're your friend or some of y'all best friends do this, if they so-called your best friend or friend, they should be supportive to you. They should be excited for you, happy for you, all that. But if they not in being fake with the fake, because you can tell when somebody being fake because it be written all over their face. So if you can tell that they're not really genuinely happy for you, that's a sign. Keep that in the back of your head. Keep these in mind. Keep them in mind. Okay, two, if they make everything about them, let's say something good happened for you. And then you talking about yourself. You know, just give yourself a little credit. And then all of a sudden you're talking about yourself. Like, what? Can I talk about me for a second? Like, if they do it like one time, don't be like, oh yeah, you automatically fake. Like, no, it's not like that. But if they do it like all the time, keep that in the back of your head. Because obviously they don't want nothing good happening for you. So if they like, oh yeah, yeah, what about me? Nah, nah, nah. Oh yeah, I remember I did that. Like, can I talk about me? Can I talk about me? This isn't about you, it's about me. So if they do that, keep that in mind. I would have been, if one of my friends did that, I would have been, cut them off. Cause it's like, no one wants to hear you talk about yourself 24 seven. Like that's aggravating. I'm not saying like, if you're talking about yourself, like yeah, you can give yourself credit every once in a while, but all the time, oh, that's ridiculous. And you don't talk about nobody else, yeah. That's ridiculous. That's aggravating too. I'm like basically, I'm basically just telling y'all what I see at my school because I see a lot of stuff in my school when it comes to like fake friends and stuff like that or fake people in general. And like the stuff that I see at school is the stuff I'm basically telling y'all to look out for if that makes sense. So basically all this stuff I'm really saying I see from at school. I see this all the time. They insult you or they um, point out something that you're insecure about. Like your flaws, let's say that. But when some people do this, they be playing. It's like me and my um best friend, her name is Elena, play with each other like, girl, shut up, blase, blase. But if you be like, shut up with your big nose or something like that, and you told your friend that you're insecure about your nose, and they be like, shut up with your big nose, like, why are you saying that? And that's how people be depressed. So if your friend constantly doing that, she wants you to feel bad about yourself. And if she, and if you told them that you was um insecure about your nose, and they just threw it in your face like that, that's not a real friend. Period! They shouldn't be throwing your insecurities out in your face. And especially if you're around people, please leave the friendship. Because obviously, they're trying to hurt your friend or embarrass you. They're trying to make your self-esteem level go down. Okay, four. They try to compete with you with everything you do. I had one girl like this, but like... <laughs> I had one person like this, but I don't know what their idea was. Like what they were trying to get across from it. Me and this person, we still cool. Yeah, we still cool, but yeah. If they try to compete with you with everything you do. It's pretty self-explanatory. Trying to compete with you everything you do. Um, like they're kind of jealous of you in a way. You know? So, yeah. The next one is they let people talk about you. Let's say in the classroom. And then y'all hear somebody saying your best friend name or friend name in the back of the classroom. They're talking about her. And you're just sitting in the front of the classroom just looking. And writing down notes, you steady hear them talking about your friend or your best friend. I've seen it so many times, but I know some people may be like scared to stick up for themselves or their other friends. But if you usually always talking or loud and stuff, and you're not about to stick up for your best friend, you always talking, you always loud. Why are you not gonna stick up for your friend? 
But my friends, like, we always stick up for each other. Like, no. Mm. Mm. Like, that's fake. It usually be the girls that's always talking. Like, you were just talking the other day. Why are you not trying to stick up for your friend? And then sometimes they be talking about their friend right along with them. And then sometimes they go back to their friend and then tell their friend what somebody else said about them. Like, he was right in the class. Why you ain't said nothing? Why you ain't help your friend? we like, oh, yeah, they said that you was fake. I heard them say that you was fake. Why you ain't said nothing? The last sign that I have for y'all is if your friend is two-faced. So, let's say you and your friend talking, you know, giggling, ha ha, having fun. Let's say somebody walk over there to where you and your friend at when y'all having a conversation. Their whole mood changed when that one person came over there. Like, they're trying to act two-faced. Like, they got... If you don't know what two-faced is, it's basically meaning like, like they two-faced. They act different towards different people. So she might be acting different towards that person that's coming over to y'all. Y'all having a conversation. And she might be like, girl, shut up. Why are you so loud? Blah, blah, blah. But like trying to act different when y'all was just having a full-blown conversation. And she wasn't doing none of that. That's how you know your friend's talking about you. Because if they trying to act mean towards you when somebody else walked past or when somebody else is around... They're trying to show that other person that you really don't like them, so you're not, you know? If that makes sense, like, they trying to be two-faced, basically. That's the end of my girl talk video on how to tell your friend is fake or signs that you have a fake friend. But, yeah, like I said, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below and that bell to get notified every time I post a video. And also, guys, you can follow my social medias. It'll be in the screen and also in the description box below. And I'll see you guys when I'm back in another video. Bye!